So I've been procrastinating just a little bit. There's this project that I've been working on. I'll insert a picture. I ran out of yarn. The colors I needed, I could not find in store and I had to purchase them online. Just a whole bunch of other things just get in my mind and basically prevent me from getting the project done. I feel like I should be a lot more concerned, but I'm not. So I have been prioritizing making the hats over the shirt. Is that a good idea? Who knows? We'll only know if I finish it on time. And I need to finish it before, let's say, December 13th. And that's pushing it. Let's say December 12th. Today is November 30th. And that can seem like a lot of time, but it's not a lot of time when you're designing because no one, at least me, I can really predict how long designing will take, but I really, really liked it. Do I really like it that much? And like, I still think I do, but I'm not sure if I want to do the work that it takes to complete it. I've already went so far. I've already completed so many of them like weeks ago. I ran out of the green color that I needed. Since then, I've been working on these hats and I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop making hats because if I don't, I won't finish the shirt in time. So I guess we're just gonna have a small talk about productivity and how to be productive. So I did search up some lists on productivity and it gives some inspiration to see if my ideas align with whatever I can find online. One of the most common tips that I saw was to start with the hard tasks first. And I think that's so true. And this morning I do feel a little bit more motivated and that's because like I didn't skip anything in my morning routine. I woke up at a good time. I ate breakfast and all that type of stuff. Um, so I did the big things first and I feel like because I feel really good about that, I'm more motivated to keep on going and get the other things, like crochet related things that I need to get done, done. Part two, change your environment or create a controlled environment. I've noticed coming to the library really does help to like set the tone, change the vibes. Also, I don't have access to certain things that I do when I'm home. Tip number three would be to um, prepare the night before. And I think this helped me tremendously as well. So like I packed my bag, I'll show you. So I put all of my stuff in here when I come to the library, like it just, there's just a bunch of yarn in here. Basically, I can just reach in there and grab whatever I need as I need it. So I packed that last night. It doesn't appear that I've forgotten anything. If I did, um, that would be really sad, but I did pack everything last night, so I think I'm good off of step number three. Okay, hey, tip number four. I am just bouncing off of like what I remember that I read and what I actually just do when I have like a really good productive day. So I wanna set goals and you wanna set realistic goals. So for me on any given day, two hats completed in a day is a productive day. So it's not a very strict policy for the goal. Make sure that goal is realistic, like very, very, very realistic. Like realistic to me if you were busy, realistic to me if you woke up late, realistic if like a bunch of things went wrong, like just realistic in almost all circumstances. So it doesn't really have to be a really extreme goal, just realistic. Now let's measure the productivity. It's 1246 and I'm going to finish this hat. Once we finish this hat, I'll time check. And then we're gonna go through the to-do list or productivity list that we wanna get done for today. So we are at the end of the row. So sit, time check is 12.51. I have a lot of hats and they're all in here. You saw me just complete one. I think I have about 15-ish. By the end of the day here, I think I should have 17 or 18 or something like that. So let me just count those. So it's one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Like I said before, two is a really good productive number for me. So I'd like to get at least two hats done today. And I just checked the time, it's 1.02 and I'm gonna get right into it. And I'll meet you back in a bit. Here to do a time check, it's 2.09. And this is what I have done. It is now 2.45 and we have completed this hat. We have 
have this cute little teddy bear on it. Little update. This is going to be another um, granny square bucket hat. So it's like this ombre with like a white outline or like a white base. We're gonna time check again and it is 3.13. We have one, two, three, four, five. So five squares and then we outline them in white and then assemble them together. This is how much yarn I have left. I have about halfway to go. I don't think I have enough. Yeah, we're not making it. Let's see how many double crochet I have left. I need a 29 more double crochet to finish this. That sucks just a little bit. So change of plans. Now that I'm thinking about it, since I don't have enough yarn for this hat, I'm going to have to go home regardless to get more yarn to finish it. And I did want to ship these out today, but I don't want to ship it out with this one missing because that would basically be a total waste. So instead, I'm going to take product photos and I'm going to put all of these in their individual bag. And that will be kind of like the pivot goal for today. 